lives. That's so true. All right, the refugee crisis around the world we know is growing, and it's getting bad by the day, worse by the day. Afghans continue to seek safety here from the Taliban-controlled country. They're now, we got you Ukrainians that are looking for global community help. So we have two fronts with lots of folks. And an Arlington doctor is making sure that no one gets overlooked. Here's 7 News reporter Victoria Sanchez with this story you'll see only on 7 News. When you give something of yourself, other people will follow. Before COVID, Dr. Ali Karim helped build wells in Nigeria, aided orphans and women in Kabul, and filmed a documentary. Now I'm about to take you inside some of the most dangerous and forbidden places on earth. He came back to Virginia Hospital Center to fight the pandemic here at home. But this world traveler didn't stay in Arlington for long. After COVID hit, the Afghan refugee crisis began. So it was from one incident to another. I decided to get on the planes to help the Afghan refugees come from Germany and Qatar. When military aircraft weren't enough, the Department of Defense activated the Civil Reserve Air Fleet, where Dr. Kareem served as an in-flight physician for the fleeing refugees, and where he met Saeed Akbar Sahil. He was in the land doctor. This young father is one of 500 refugees Dr. Kareem and his nonprofit Global Shout are helping in the D.C. region. We've been doing pretty much everything that we can to establish their lives and make sure that they're settled and they can cope with the difficulties of coming to a new land and leaving their homes. 25-year-old Ahmad Halid Nuri made it safely to the United States seven months ago, but left many loved ones in the war-torn country. Think about myself, uh, I should feel uh, uh, lucky, but uh, I, don't, I don't feel that because we left uh, uh, the men and women who, who, who served along with us. And, and the ones that are in Afghanistan are in danger because the Taliban are going home to home, hunting them down. Dr. Kareem heard stories about leaving a homeland behind when he was growing up. His parents fled Afghanistan when Russia invaded more than four decades ago. The journey was very similar. You know, they came on these flights. They had to find their way to, you know, a third country to eventually make their way to America. It took three years. And I was born the next year. Born at the very hospital he now works at and where VHC colleagues volunteer to serve the new arrivals. On the heels of the Afghan refugee crisis, Ukrainians are escaping an invasion of their own. There's a lot of suffering around this world. I might be Afghan, but I'm not selectively helping the Afghans right now. We're going to help everybody. That's why we're going to pivot to Ukraine. A pivot with the help of the newly resettled Afghan refugees, connected not by country, but by circumstance. We can truly understand what, what, what your people is feeling right now. Victoria Sanchez, 7 News.